Hey guys, it's Jeremy from Jack Monkey Jeep. And today we're gonna get to the video that I've been wanting to do since I started the channel, which is the walk around of the Jack Monkey. <laughs> So starting with the front part of the Jeep, um, I knew that I wanted to go with a bumper, uh, a stubby bumper. So I'm gonna start actually with the bumper and then tell you why I went with the bumper because of the winch. Uh, this is the Rugged Ridge stubby front bumper. Stubby meaning that it doesn't cover the, the front tire so it gives me that uh, ability to approach obstacles with my tires and not have to worry about my bumper. The reason I went with this bumper was because in Moab, Utah, just this past April at Easter Jeep Safari, I luckily won this Rugged Ridge Trekker 10 winch. It's a 10,000 pound winch with synthetic rope. And I won that just by putting a flag on my Jeep and running around, they stopped and gave it to me. So that was an awesome win. So I went ahead and just purchased a, a bumper that was compatible with the winch. So I opted for the Rugged Ridge stubby front bumper with the bull bar. Now, because I won the winch and I didn't have to spend that money on the winch per se, I went ahead and upgraded some of the, the components of the winch. So I opted for the Factor 55 Fairlead and the Factor 55 Flatlink in green, which matches the accent to the blue and green theme that I've got on the Jack Monkey Jeep. So now that we've talked about the front end, let's move around and talk about what I did initially to make the Jeep a little taller uh, and sit uh, how, I, how I preferred it. So I opted for right off the bat when I ordered it, I talked to my nephew and we purchased the OEM Mopar 2 inch lift with the Fox shocks. So that's an upgrade from the Rubicon standard suspension uh, and it just raised it up two inches. I also knew that I wanted to go with 35 inch tires. Uh, and so if you saw some of my videos previously, I just recently upgraded to the Nitto Trail Grappler Mud Terrain 35 1250s and absolutely love them. Side note, when I did that, I did lose a little bit of gas mileage, but I'll show you in another video what I did to remedy that. So moving on from here, uh, a company called Oracle Lighting, I reached out and ordered their product for Jeep Gladiators and Wranglers uh, called the LED Sidetrack. Now it is just a little plastic meeting that attaches to the side. It's built for the contour of the body line uh, and it just adheres with some uh, two millimeter tape double side sticky tape. And what it does is it's an LED light that when I open the door, I don't know if you can see this, but it projects light. So I did this because at night, when I'm approaching the Jeep, this lights up the area around the Jeep at night. An additional feature that that also brings is that when I turn my turn signal on, if somebody happens to be riding in my blind spot, that projects as a turn signal. It's real easy, it just, wires into the existing turn signals and boom it's ready to go one other thing you may be wondering what this little black lip is here uh, this is the lang original um, doorless mirror kit now i have the mirror stored under the back seat but i keep this installed all year round so in case i want to take the doors off it gives me a way to stay legal with three rear view mirrors when i decide to take the doors off now what I did forget to mention is on the other side, I, um, as many of you Jeepers know, uh, that gaudy antenna that sticks way up to the roof line, I didn't like that, so I immediately opted for a short stubby antenna, and we'll get to that when we get to the other side. Now, whenever I first uh, purchased the Jeep, I knew that I wanted something that I could uh, have a lot of storage in the bed, but also create a sense of an overlander. So uh, something I could put a rooftop tent on and also have secured, locked, near waterproof storage. So for that, I opted for the Diamondback HD cover. Now this is the reinforced cover, so it will hold 1600 pounds on this aluminum top. It, uh, um, it has a V-shape flip, 
where it opens here and I have access to the front and then the same back here where I have access to the back. Now this actually creates a nice sealed waterproof, near waterproof, because there are some leaks that get in, but for the most part, your gear will stay dry and this is lockable so that it is secure. Front, um, Diamondback also offers through their website, a partnership with the front runner rack system so that you can actually install uh, bars so that you can carry things like Pelican cases or additional luggage up here, or you can mount say a rooftop tent and uh, their system works very well with the Diamondback system. So I just purchased that all right from the beginning. I'm really happy with it. It has these cleats for tie downs in case you do store something up here. They're very sturdy, very solid. The one drawback I would say about the Diamondback cover is that if you need to get in and out of the bed, some of the spots that you have access to, it's kind of hard to get to, especially with a lifted Jeep. Uh, sometimes I have to carry a stool so that I can actually get up and reach towards the middle of the bed if I have this thing packed full. But very minor detail to make sure that I have full security of everything in the bed of my Jeep. All right guys, so that pretty much covers the exterior of the Jack Monkey Jeep, minus some stickers. And as you can see, I upgraded the Rubicon sticker to a green to match that blue and green theme that I'm going on. So why don't we move to the inside of the Jeep and we'll see what's going on. I'll meet you there. All right guys, so welcome to the interior of the Jack Monkey Jeep. So the first thing I wanna talk about, which is something that I didn't even plan on doing, it just happened again at Moab, Utah, Easter Jeep Safari 2023. I happened to win from the Jeep stand uh, that is set up in downtown Moab each day, a set of cat skin leather seats. Now this is an option that they give on the newer Jeep Wranglers and Gladiators, but you can outfit your Jeep with customizable leather from the Catskin company. So because this was like a free thing, again, I opted to kind of go a little crazy. So I went with the blue and the black with the white Jeep lettering and the accent stitching of the neon green. And I really love how this turned out. It just pops. We did kind of look at an opposite uh, color scheme where, the, where it was blue, it would actually be green and it would have blue stitching. That was just a little too much, but I really am happy with this feature in the Jeep. Perfect. All right, so next I needed a place to put my cell phone. So I looked around, uh, I really liked the aluminum bars that um, 67 Designs created. And so I went with their single cell phone holder uh, as you can see, it's just a, a basic holder that adjusts, it slides, goes everywhere. It's real easy. My iPhone 12 uh, just pops right in there and it's real easy to do. The second thing after uh, purchasing the Jeep was really looking for additional storage. As, as you all know, there's not much storage in these things. Uh, so I just really looked to Amazon and some other YouTubers to kind of get an idea of what the, uh, the options were. And on Amazon, and I can post a link below, there are, there are a multitude of options and I went with three of them. So I went with the center console, the, the, the shifter storage option, which just adheres with some 3M sticky tape uh, and it gives you storage on both sides of the gear shift. The center console storage, uh, I think everybody that owns a Jeep probably has one of those. And then I also went with the grab handle storage. Now this is probably my least favorite, just because when you put stuff in there and you're going around turns, it tends to slide back and forth. Um, but I bought it, so I chose to use it. I got a GoPro mount and a couple receipts in there. Uh, and that, that looks kind of messy, but it is honestly my least favorite of the storage, but it does provide, if I have a passenger, they want to put their cell phone, their keys there, their wallet, um, you actually got to fill it up to make sure that the stuff doesn't slide. But that's kind of it for the front. Let's move on to the back. Okay, all right. So really not much going on back here. However, uh, what you will notice is some, uh, some uh, this ugly, ugly, ugly digital camouflage packs uh, that I have. Uh, picked these up at a surplus store uh, and with the Molly panel on the back of the Gladiator, 
uh, the Wranglers have this as well. Uh, it just provides a little extra storage. So um, my wife likes to keep a lot of napkins and, and plastic wear back here uh, for when we're riding together as a family, we have that. So that goes in here. This one I use primarily for my hydro flask that's always full of water. You always got to stay hydrated. And then what I really wanted to highlight back here um, is kind of a safety feature that I uh, personally feel strong about uh, because I have a three and a half year old daughter and she's always, as you know, putting stuff in her mouth, eating small foods. So this one actually has a life vac uh, object remover. So just in case something happens and she, we're, we're four wheeling and she is chewing on a snack and it gets lodged in her throat, we have this, it's available, it's ready, and it's always here. Um, I don't know the Heimlink or CPR uh, and my wife does, but this is just a real good option. I've actually tried it out and it, it'll, it'll suck the stuff out of your throat. So, uh, but I just wanted to share that, that this is important to me just in case something happens to my daughter. All right. So that's basically the walk around, but I did want to share with you one additional thing. And that is the recovery gear that I do take with me. Now I can do a more in-depth video on this whenever we get and get it all laid out and show you exactly what I carry. But since it is a walk around and it's, it's accessorizing the Jeep, Jeep's uh, recovery is accessorizing your Jeep. So um, just some things that I keep with me is, uh, is a ARB deflator uh, for whenever I wanna deflate my, my uh, tires to go four wheeling. Uh, I have this uh, eight foot recovery strap uh, that's good for pulling out. You may have seen it in a couple extra videos. And then uh, a couple things I bought off Amazon. I carry two soft shackles with me in addition to the D-ring shackles that are constantly mounted on the front. They're more for show. These are definitely more functional. So if you're looking for recovery gear, uh, these are King Pro, again, bought off Amazon. Uh, additionally, I carry all my ratchet straps in here. I carry uh, a foldable shovel just in case I need that and then some just some small tools and then this last thing I think this is really neat this is a snatch ring okay now in the the video where we went to the loop uh, we were trying to use this and uh, we burn out the solenoid on the winch that's a discussion for another day but what this does this is a this allows you to run your winch line to an anchor point around the snatch block and back to your Jeep and what that does is it gives you a mechanical advantage. It doesn't necessarily double the pulling power of your Jeep, but it gives you a mechanical advantage and leverage for those tough and sticky situations. This is a cheap one, okay? This isn't a Factor 55, really uh, highly priced uh, piece of equipment, but this one's made out of the same alum uh, aluminum that the Factor 55 is made out of, and it's a fraction of the cost. And I figure if a synthetic rope fails on this, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So this is just some stuff that I carry with me. In addition, what I think I didn't mention was the winch is a wireless winch controller, okay? But <clears throat> it's always a good idea to have a wired winch controller with you just in case something happens and you lose connectivity with that wireless controller, you have a hardwired uh, ability to dial into your winch. So that's it for today. I hope you really liked and enjoyed this video. Uh, if, you, if you like this content, tell me down below what you really like, what you wanna see more of, and I'll bring another video to you. And if you would, please like and subscribe because that definitely helps the channel. But we'll see you, have a great time, enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you next time on Jack Monkey Jeep.